deep root two days and night on the farm highlights the interconnection of nature, farms, our food system, and our communities. Using different art installations to represent different concerns that we have to overcome or to even recognize. There were nine installations spreading out throughout the farm. My beekeeper sculpture is an example of pointing out an issue. Bees are many things. Why? We need bees to pollinate our food. What happens if they are gone? The sculpture also includes messages on how the community can care for bee populations. Sparking an interest in young people for healthy food and urban farming is key to sustainability. My decorative chicken tractor, a movable enclosure, will give children a view of how to raise happy chickens that help the farmer control weeds and bug pests. This functional sculpture, which like most of my sculptures for these installations, uses recycled materials from the farm. For example, the chicken feathers are made from discarded irrigation drip hoses from the farm. All of my artworks have a story of rebirth to tell. <laughs> Community collaboration could be the sub theme for my art installations. For example, the decorative wash station blinds installation is a collaborative work with Weaver's Way farmers, Weaver's Way community programs at farm educators, and their volunteer high school students. We have repurposed discarded drip irrigation hose to create brines for the wash stations, making use of the white and blue prints on the hose to weave an interesting pattern. This functional art will protect the farmers from cold wind and rain when they are washing or preparing vegetables for the farmer's market. When I first approached the Weaver's Way farm manager, Farmer Rick for my idea of combining an art installation with the farm festival. It was well received. My collaboration with Weaver's Way Farm and the co-op and the Arbery Arboretum started from this idea. By combining a farm festival with an art installation, our aim is to spread the message that urban farm by necessity need to be multi-use space, not just for growing food. We are taking a unique approach to raise awareness on the importance of farming by expanding the audience past foodies to art lovers and beyond. The other community organizations that are approached to collaborate watch with the Philadelphia Open Studio Tours. The farm was also one of the destination for the Philadelphia Open Studio Tour, Tory Tour Stop to visit the art exhibit. So what we're doing here today with the guided trolley tour is actually bringing art lovers and people who are interested in the arts in Philadelphia out to experience art in new ways, in the studio and in the community. You know, as far as the collaboration itself, we both sort of shared this vision of building community with uh, merging the farming and, and art world. And, you know, supporting your local artists is very important, and as is supporting your local farms. So combining these two things just made a lot of sense to, to the both of us. I hope through my deep roots to art installations, more people become aware and support urban farming with organic practice. It can be a better, healthier way of eating that would not degrade our natural environments that we all love. <laughs>